Morning, church. Brother Matt here again. Friday is the most difficult day of Holy Week. Christ, uh, trial, crucifixion, death, and burial all took place on what we call Good Friday. But why do we call it good if Christ's journey became so treacherous and acutely painful in the final hours before his death? According to the Bible, the Son of God was flogged. He was ordered to carry the cross in which he would be crucified and then put to death. It's difficult to see what is good about it. However, Christians commemorate that terrible Friday because it led to the resurrection of Jesus and his victory over sin and death. What we lost on Friday was redeemed on that first Easter Sunday morning. Also, according to Scripture, Judas Iscariot, the disciple who had betrayed Jesus, was overcome with remorse and hung himself early Friday morning. Meanwhile, before the third hour, which is 9 a.m., uh, Jesus endured the shame of false accusations, uh, condemnation, mockery, beatings, and abandonment. After multiple unlawful trials, he was sentenced to death by crucifixion, which was one of the most horrible and disgraceful methods of capital punishment known to man. Before Christ was led away, soldiers spat on him, tormented him, and mocked him, and pierced him with a crown of th thorns. Then Jesus carried his own cross to Calvary, where again he was mocked and insulted by Roman soldiers as they nailed him to the wooden cross. Uh, Jesus spoke seven times from the cross. His first words were, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And his last words were, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Then about the ninth hour, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Jesus breathed his last breath and died. By 6 p.m. Friday evening before sunset, Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus' body down from the cross and lay it in a tomb. All was quiet until that first Easter Sunday morning. If you've ever doubted that God loves you and cares for you, then pause and listen to the words of this beautiful song by Stuart Townend, How Deep is the Father's Love for Us. How deep is the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. What great the pain of searing loss, the father turned his face away, as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Behold the man upon a cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed, I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished. His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. I will not boast in anything, no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer but this I know with all my heart, his wounds have paid my ransom. My prayer for you this Good Friday is that God will take away all doubt. He will take away all doubt that you have and remind you of how much he loves you and cares for you today. Friday is a great day to contemplate all that Christ did for us, the finished work of the cross. And I pray today that God will bless you as you think about all the many and wonderful things Christ has done for us. As always, uh, be safe, uh, be healthy, and stay in Christ's arms. God bless you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.